Hi right, guys, Overwatch here, and today I'm going to talk about how to fix screen tearing in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds for those of us with AMD cards. Go Team Red! So, screen tearing is really annoying in games, and it's basically to put it in very like simplistic terms. And I'm sure there are others that can explain it better than I can. Screen tearing happens when your video card outputs a new image before your monitor has finished. Uh, putting that new image up onto your screen. So to fix that, what we're going to do, obviously the easiest way to fix it is to turn on what's called VSync in game. That can, however, have a perfor performance hit, and it doesn't always work perfectly for everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our taskbar. We're going to open up Radeon settings here. So this is the Radeon settings homepage. We're going to go to gaming. And then we're going to find PUBG. So here we go, Player Unknown's Battleground. A couple things I'm going to do. So this option right here uh, is the same thing as VSync, vertical refresh. Uh, we can use this panel here to force it on, or we can turn on Enhanced Sync. You can try both Always On and Enhanced Sync. See if that uh, helps you get fix that screen tearing. That's probably the simplest way of doing it. Like I said, there is a performance hit, but you know, it pretty much anyway is going to give you some level of performance hit. The other thing you can do is you can turn on where here it says frame rate target control. You can open this up and you can designate a frame rate that you want the game to be rendered at. So I have a 120 hertz monitor, meaning that my monitor will refresh up to 120 times per second. Meaning that if the game outputs 120 frames per second, it will always be exactly on. Um, there will always be exactly one image outputted every time the screen refreshes, and we shouldn't have that nasty tearing effect. Now, obviously, unless you have a beastly rig, in which case, why isn't VSync working for you? You're probably not going to be able to get the same refresh rate as your monitor, as most monitors have a pretty beastly refresh rate of, you know, 120 or 144 or even higher. So what you can do is you can take a whole fraction of that refresh rate, for example, I can take 60 FPS. And what that's going to do is that means that for every two times my monitor refreshes, there's going to be one new image sent to it. So it's going to have the same effect of preventing that screen tearing. Or I could even go lower, to so something a little bit more realistic, to 30 FPS. So what that means is that for every four times my monitor refreshes, it's going to receive one new image from my uh, graphics processor. Meaning that that should fix you know the screen tearing because it's no longer getting a new image in the middle of uh, refreshing. So. Guys, hopefully this helps you out a little bit here, helps you fix some of that screen tearing. There are a couple more options, uh, mainly buying a, you know, free sync monitor, which uh, I, I don't know if I'd recommend that, just because they are kind of pricey, but those monitors basically have built-in uh, V-Sync options that are going to do the work of V-Syncing uh, without you having to do it on your graphics card and uh, unfortunately other than that I'm not aware of any other way to fix the screen tearing. There is a third party option but I would not recommend recommend it. It's called Cheat Engine and basically it's going to do the exact same thing here as uh, frame rate target control but it's third party and uh, I'm not sure if it'll get you banned so I would advise against that. As always, guys, let me know if you have your own tips in terms of how to fix screen tearing, which is super annoying. Hope you've learned something from this tutorial. I hope you fix whatever issues you're having, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.